News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. We had clear skies last night and today a little bit of cloudiness coming in, but didn't bother these guys getting a little fishing in off of Harrisburg on the Susquehanna River. It was a pretty nice day out there. Now the clouds are starting to move in, but despite that, temperature-wise, not all that bad. Here's what it looks like all across the region near the 80 mark. A degree or two either side of it, uh, Coatesville at 75, but everybody else right near that 80 degree mark all across the Susquehanna Valley. So we are seeing a pretty nice looking evening out there, and I think it will continue to be that way. Uh, we'll see the clouds continue to stream in though. Now there's a lot of rain down over the Tennessee Valley. I think most of that is aimed just off to the west of us, up toward Ohio, but we'll see maybe a few showers. We've been talking about that for the weekend over the last couple of days, but I really don't look for a, a washout this weekend by any means. Now, the high, the high pressure that gave us a beautiful weather the last couple of days, it's starting to slip away, slip off to the east and uh, head up toward New England. So, as a result, we're picking up more of an easterly flow of air, that southerly flow of air, while right away not bringing in the humidity. Eventually, it will, though. It is starting to bring this moisture in our direction. There's a little weak storm down in here, and some of the ripples from that are heading northbound also. But I'll show you the predictor in a minute. Most of it staying away from us in terms of precipitation. But here come the clouds. They continue to stream in. But really, all in all, pretty good weekend coming our way. Nothing on the radar at this hour. And I don't expect anything till maybe tomorrow afternoon, even then. Pretty spotty stuff. So here's the projector as we go through uh, the evening hours. You see the clouds coming in, 9, 10 o'clock. We're still in the 70s. Now, the last couple of nights we've been in the 50s, but you got clouds out there tonight, so it won't be as cool. We'll be in the low to mid 60s out there. We see most of the rain heading to our west. And we think that's going to be the case again tomorrow. Pop up shower, especially west of the river. Most of us, despite the clouds, still get to near 80 degrees. But I don't think the humidity is all that bad tomorrow. It's still fairly comfortable. By Sunday, you start to feel that a little more, and certainly by the beginning of the week. So here's your forecast. We head to Spring Grove this evening. 70s through the evening hours, increasing clouds, but still comfortable. Now, not as cool, but not bad overnight. We'll be in the 60s with mostly cloudy skies, and tomorrow does turn out to be a cloudier day. And that isolated shower, especially west of the river, Temperatures tomorrow, though, near the 80 degree mark. So it doesn't look all that bad out there. Now, as we get into the work week and we start to get up into the mid 80s, I can't rule out a shower, a thunder shower on Monday, but you'll notice the humidity coming back up. And with that, humidity could be a stray thunder shower again on Tuesday. Looks to me like a better chance, though, of showers and storms as we get into the middle of next week. We'll keep you updated on that. Our kids' artist for this evening is Cameron Burke. Cameron's from Clearview Elementary School in the Red Lion Area School District. Looks like a little volleyball going on underneath some clouds out there. Cameron was a third grader this year. Thank you to Cameron and Michelle Kendall from Waynesburg. Congratulations. You're our Weather Watcher Umbrella winner. Congratulations from WGAL and from Whitaker Center.